Diwali, Halloween, Bhai Dooj and Mom's birthday. It was a 10 day roller coaster ride of great joy with friends and family. It was Friday night and we started with decorating the home with lights for the Saturday night party. We sent out this cute Diwali hamper to our team and people we work with. Saturday morning was quite rushed as I had to plan, shoot and edit a video on last minute Halloween costumes. A series of cheat meals started with luchi, chicken and alu tar curry for lunch. Harsh had come over for 3 days to spend Diwali with me and we together did some Halloween decoration for the party at night. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, we did the Halloween and Diwali party on the same day. We are that crazy. I really enjoy making these Halloween decorations every year. As you can see, I also made my horns which I was going to use as a prop for my evening costume and you'll get to see it later in the video. Soon we were all set for the party to begin. As you can see, one section of my home is decorated in a Diwali theme and we had a complete separate section with the Halloween decor. It takes quite some work every year to make these cutouts, but I think it's totally worth the effort. Soon it was time for our friends to come over and all of them had multiple big bags because soon they had to switch into the Diwali outfits and later change into the Halloween outfits. This is a small glimpse of the mad fun we had at the Diwali party. And of course, we had to click pictures as always. And then it was time to get ready for Halloween. We had thought of doing a Bollywood theme Halloween party. But some of us ended up not sticking to it. There was Kartik Aryan from Bhul Bhulaiya 2, Crime Master Gogo, of course Gangubai, Clark Kent, Monjolika, and I dressed up as Mahishasur, for which you saw me making the horns earlier in this video. It was a night of long talks, biryani, and some cake. The next morning, we had our tea and coffee and went for brunch at my favorite place, Cafe Tesu in Archini, Delhi. You can see how much we ate and by the end of it, we were in a food coma. Later that day, I went and got myself a Diwali gift on the auspicious day of Dhanteras. We called it a night with some delicious, 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 delicious sushi from Namaste Asia. Japanese cuisine is one of my favorites. And before we knew it, it was the day of Diwali. And Diwali isn't complete without me making a rangoli. This year, I attempted something totally new, which I had never done before. I tried to give a 3D effect to my rangoli and see how it turned out. Must say, I was pretty impressed with myself and I should do it more often. It would have been a total waste if we didn't feature the rangoli in one of our reels. At around 9 pm, we left for Kali Pujo and visited the Pandal or Pandal as we Bengalis call it. We received the prizes for the competitions we had won during Durga Pujo and my mom was the one handing out the prizes. After that, we left for Sia Park to attend another different Pujo and have some yummy delicious food. This is market number one in Sia Park and they have the best rolls in the whole wide world. The girls also wanted to have some bhog and stood in the queue to get theirs. Needless to say, it was as delectable as it can get. Like they say, there's always room for some dessert and some pan. On the way, we saw people flying lanterns and we made our own wishes too. Like always, this Diwali also meant no crackers for me, only lights and good vibes. After a while, we got back for some more adda as well as the best mangshobhat or mutton rice which we wait for with bated breath to have at 4 a.m. in the morning. Diwali ended on a high note and then it was time to go back home and sleep till the afternoon. After a gap of one day, it was time for another celebration, Bhai Dooj or Bhai Fota as we call it. I met my cousins, their kids and the entire extended family after a very long time and it was indeed a great day. I was super excited to meet Brandy who is my cousin's dog and he was equally excited to visit our home for the first time. For lunch, we had home cooked Bengali food in the menu. 
it was a special day with special people and we look forward to it every year after that it was time for the actual halloween and i tried this 3d spider makeup on my face for the first time and i think it turned out pretty well like i said those 7 to 10 days were like a roller coaster ride and now it was time for mom's birthday and we headed out for dinner to gurgaon I picked Cafe Dhasu at Ambience Mall for the dinner. It's one of my favorite places to eat at in Gurgaon. And that was the end of the most fun-filled 10 days. This is me Rohit signing off. I'll be back again with a new vlog soon.